heading out to the famous painting grounds of Gloucester Harbor. <laughs> it's hard to see it from the land, like these old rickety wharfs. This is kind of like my world. And it's the stuff that, you know, I find inspiring, all the textures, and it allows me to get some views and perspectives that I wouldn't get otherwise. I don't think there's a real need to have a style. What does that mean? Every time I do something, a subject, it's like I did it for the first time. I'm not going into it, this is the way I'm going to do it, that's the way I'm going to do it. And of course, some of that plays into it because, you know, you do this and it's part of your technical way that you execute a picture. But at the same time, I'm willing to have it speak to me in terms of light or in terms of color. Maybe there's a, a strong emphasis on the geometry. I might do the same subject more than once in a different medium and it may be quite different. I just get the values in, like this whole, looking at the building there, this whole area is actually basically a shadow, so I can just wash that whole, that whole area in. A style does imply perhaps a formula, and I try to stay away from that formula business. The water, the water will make the most whew, beautiful, beautiful colors. Oftentimes I've looked at the same subject matter for years but never touched it because I couldn't quite figure how to how to make it into a composition because the composition part of it's very important. You can't just go out and say, I like that building, I'll do a painting of it. I don't work that way. Very rarely do I try to finish a painting in one session. You know, I know I'm going to come back to it again, so whatever I get down, it might change later on, that's okay. Whatever I get down, at least I get something down. Can't forget the coffee pot. Essential equipment. <laughs> I'm going to give this a little bit of a sling here. The best teacher you have is practice. Like Monet said, what would I teach them? Things about how to use paint, how to mix colors. You can learn that anywhere. What brush to use. Even if they learned all that stuff, you know, what if they didn't have the fire inside? That's something you can't teach. Every time a boat will go by or there's wind, it'll create all these different shapes. So the reflection shapes are fascinating to watch. They, they, they change constantly. But you know, not that you try to get that exactly, but uh, it makes you, makes you work in kind of a rapid fire sort of fashion. I'm a guy out here working, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you're gonna do some things that are very good. Other times you're not gonna be as successful. We'll let other people judge my results. That's the bottom line. Do you want me to look at the camera and smile, you said? 